Okay, a question here on the factors affecting the rate of a reaction. As the concentration of sodium thiosulfate solution doubles, the rate doubles. Explain the student's conclusion in terms of particles. So we're using collision theory here to explain what the student has just said. So we've got two diagrams here to explain this at, at the bottom. The concentration of a solution is essentially how many particles there are in a given volume. So here we've got a given volume. Inside that, we have a set number of particles. So in this example, the left-hand side diagram represents a low concentration because there's only few particles in that given volume. On the right-hand side, we have many more particles in the same amount of volume. So that means this one has a much higher concentration. So what happens is because there's more particles in a given volume, when these particles are moving around in this box or in this area, they are more likely to collide with each other. So when they collide with each other with a high enough energy, they end up reacting. Because there are more of them, it means the frequency of these collisions is greater. So they're colliding much more often. So every 10 seconds, there'll be much more collisions occurring compared to the one on the left, which means there is going to be a faster rate of reaction. So we need to explain the points I just said, plus explain exactly what happens when you double these. So first of all, we can say when concentration increases, the number of particles in a given volume increases. So there are more frequent successful collisions. Now let's apply this to doubling the concentration. So we can say so as the number of particles in a given volume doubles, the frequency of collisions also double. That's how you get three marks there.